Hey guys, it's Abby, and today I'm going to be making Pokeballs, but in three different styles. So first, we're going to start with shrink plastic, and I have done this a few years ago in a collab with some friends, and you may have seen it, I'll link it. So this one's pretty basic, and of course you can make it in any style you want, but I'm just doing the basic Pokeball, or Monster Ball, as we call it here in Japan. And I'm just using some red, white, and black colored pencils. We're gonna color that in. And of course, I can't freehand anything, so I downloaded an image from the internet and printed it out. Printed it. And, I mean, it's just tracing. So, I'm gonna do that. And I was worried the white wouldn't show up very well. So this time I didn't, but next time if I were to redo it, I might go over the white with a paint of the paint of coat with a coat of paint after shrinking the piece but that's totally up to you guys because I find that the color gets a little bit muted when you dome it with resin but it's you know not too obvious it's maybe just something that bugs me so anyway I'm going to dome it with some UV resin just a little dot I'm gonna spread that out and cure it and honestly that's it it's like the easiest thing ever I am going to use a little bit of glue and put on the earring backings, the studs, and this will complete our Pokeball earrings. And size-wise, it's totally up to you. You just kind of have to experiment with your shrink plastic and see what works for you because they all shrink differently. So next, I am going to take these bezels that I received from Miniature Suite, and I looked at these, I'm like, those are Pokeballs. So we're gonna make some white and red resin, and I wanted it to look a little more kind of jewelry-ish like. So I'm gonna use my uh, powder pigments and add a little bit of white to make it a little more opaque. And then for the red, I used the color, what was it? I think it was called Red Russet, and it was a little more russety than red. So of course added a bit of red and it ended up being a really deep red and I liked how it turned out. Gonna fill the bezels, this is easy. And actually all three of these methods are super simple but I just thought it was cool that there's so many different ways to make one Pokeball. So hopefully there'll be one that you guys like and be able to try. But anyway, I'm not sure what to do with these. I was thinking earrings because there's two of them but they're actually kind of larger bezels, so you could make it into a necklace, you could make it into a bag charm. Let me know what you would do. Also, let me know if you like wearing big earrings. I love dangly earrings. Anyway, I'm getting off topic because I'm running out of things to say, but here we are popping the air bubbles and melting the clear plastic, which is not great. But <laughs> I'm gonna cure it and. Voila! Now actually, I kind of forgot to dome these pieces, but doming them will definitely complete the look and bring it all together. Finally, I'm going to be making the Sphere Pokeball, and this is a dome mold, and so I actually had trouble with this. It's because the resin is too opaque, and the UV or light didn't reach all the way into the center. The surface was all cured, I thought it was great, but later on when I was poking the Pokeball, with the eye screw it actually kind of leaked out from the inside which is not great and I cured it again from the top and it looks fine now but I don't think it's very sturdy so if using a sphere mold or like a deeper mold maybe work in layers or use a translucent resin and that's all I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you like these and I'll try to make more and I'll see you guys next time Bye!